episode 19 of Muckin' About, season 2, and if you've been following along, saw the update over the weekend where the giant hole was dug, I have started working on the terraforming, which has actually been more of a problem than you would think, is that's kind of what the uh, mining laser has been doing so far, so I'm just trying to thin things out, taper it off a little bit, give it a little bit of a contour. But it's so unreliable, it makes such, uh, such weird edges, it's just a pain. So, I decided to focus more on getting one of the islands going, and that's what I'm working on right now. I'm at the height of 84, and I'm just going to head over to above this thing. So let's get that there. There we go. Maybe one more. 84. So, oop. Ah. Uh, Alright. Not that I don't trust you, but I don't trust you, so. There we go. So, what I have here is something I've never used before. This is a filler. Uh, I'm told it still uses the same markers, can't put markers on scaffolding, so I've set up uh, dirt pillars, and these all should line up. Might need a little bit more work room around here. Uh, oh, no, I forgot to activate the torches. So, click. Yeah. Now we're going to need a depth. That's going to be the next part of this. Um, let's do six tall. That is why I have this last one here. Yep. So there we go. I, I think that will fill that particular block up. Or that particular square. It's not really a block, is it? Uh, don't want to take out that last one. But here's the uh, here's the real kicker for this. Is I have this set up. Uh, it's not powered. But it is now created. Let me go see if I can't get my torches back real quick. Uh, there's three. So this is clearly going to be my main island. It's going to have the largest uh, swath of a base area here. Uh, what I'm envisioning being on this place is going to be uh, not only like my construction area and stuff like that, but it's going to be like a resource request area where I can, I want to have some sort of sorting system where I can actually request the resources I want to be working with at any particular given time. And I think, yeah, I can take this down now. Um, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so we'll stand a little bit more on the center of this here. And um, so some sort of like a, a resource requesting location as well as... Why do they keep knocking me around? I'd be willing to bench the jack jetpack I have, but... Yeah. Anyways. Uh, it's all like a machine area, the resource request area a uh, general working area and you know like construction I'm gonna have like my house my gardens things like that sort of thing make it got kind of like a castly little thing I also want it to be um, the busy place I, I would like the things actually hold on a tick that didn't say it loaded any chunks so this might not stay loaded on its own like a party does have to keep an eye out for that um, but also, yeah, I want it to be like the busy place, you know, where most of the sorting stuff is going to go through, so you just see stuff flying through pipes and such. But what we need for this, and what the base needs to start with, is a lot of stuff. And what we have is a lot of cobblestone. And I mean a lot of cobblestone. So this is just where I've been firing the laser off. I'm trying to thin the top instead of the bottom over here, so I'm going to be plowing this down a little bit. I also want to try to work in, there's a ledge over here that's just a naturally formed ledge that I would love. I mean this might just be a quick little turtle thing or some hand digging. Just kind of go through there and expose this a little bit more. 
But right up here, floating in midair, is where we've still left the sorting system and everything like that. Uh, we still use it for... Whoa, whoa, really? Really? Ow. P1, I guess. But it's uh, where we left the sorting system. It also just happens to be where this place has been charging. And this is where we've been testing out a chunk loader. Um, some of you are aware we've been having crashing issues with the chunk loaders. I've fudged the little settings in the configuration. They never unload now, so they're always loaded. And this basically uh, is making these things charge up pretty well. So I'll be trying to use these again to uh, to power up the... Uh, oops, don't want to turn on the nano saber. The uh, filler that is down there. So I need to figure out how the filler works still, but our more important pressing matter is that all the stone we have is like right there. Full of cobblestone. Uh, so 64, 65535 is how many approximately? Oh, minus two. Minus two. But it's all cobblestone, and I want smooth stone for the uh, for the system. Oh, no, no, I really want to go. Gee, isn't it magical? <laughs> so what we need to do is set up some sort of a mass burning station. Uh, i.e. a smelter uh, I, I need a smelter and I need a uh, a piping system to get the things moving through and between them look at all that I can put a lot of these seeds into the recycler and get random, well, mostly crap as of late, back out of it. Uh, let me get my string up there. And you never know when you're going to need a ton more string. I would definitely be looking at building up a whole bunch more of those uh, windmills, wind turbines actually. Good. Let's just put our uh, one back on its pedestal there. So that's just a fun thing to do. But yeah, we're going to need some sort of a system that will pump out the uh, cobblestone to us. And put it into the induction smelter. Let the induction smelter keep on running. So what I need are chunk loaders, and I'm going to put one in the four corners here. So we think that these things are safe-ish now, but the only way to really know is to actually to give them a try. So... There's a chunk loader there. I think I can still walk down, right? Yeah. Yes? No? No. What happened to me, Drill? Oh, seriously, what happened to my drill? Oh, did I throw it somewhere? Oh, that's... That's very not good. Very, very not good. 
probably gone by now, but I will go look. Diamond drill might now be higher on our priority list, I guess. Uh, it's over here, wasn't it? There's some dirt that's actually a little promising. One last place to look. two last places to look. Uh, of course, one of these places happens to be where the chunk loader was, keeping everything up and active. Did I put it in a chest to be sorted, maybe? I guess not, so I double click that twice, then I fell down here. Got something here and the other up there. Oi. Oh, I feel stupid. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. And you're all probably sitting there going, yeah, yeah, you just recharged it. Yep, yep, I just recharged it. Sigh. So as you can see, a little extra power has been added onto this. There we go, click it again. They actually show up to what they are. So I got two thermal generators running off of this one setup here. Uh, and it works out pretty well, actually. burning. Just not faster than the energy, I suppose. Uh, but that works out pretty well for energy generation. I got, you know, 10 million EU sitting right there. I have my induction furnace up here. So ideally, ideally, um, I should be able to carefully repower this. Let's add in Put them in here, right? There's the glass fiber cable. Fibra. So, oh, that's what I was trying to avoid. Is I didn't want it touching to uh, the side there and kind of giving the. Actually, that's. Yeah, that's an MFE. That would just kind of infinite loopy. So let's do this instead. Let's see when we turn that on. You see the charge there, I just want to make sure. 1%, good. Um, we'll leave that off. Um, I need a way to get the items out of the other chest and into this chest and put them into a hopper. And that's the part, that's the sort of level of automation that I'm only just starting to get comfortable with. And what I really don't know is how to suck it back out. I could use the items that are over there, but I don't really know how that goes. So the filter is a powered machine. I'm pretty sure that's what we have over there, and I think I have some extra red doped, wa red, red doped wafers from when I made one of them to help out. I however do not see it in here. Mostly organics in there. Mostly animal drops. Ah, 
Oh, there's the wafers. Look at that right there. So I think we might need two. One for in, one for out. Does that make sense? Um. Alright, I'm gonna uh, put these two things together, give a couple of tries, and I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty guys, we are back. So I did a little building in a creative world to try and work out which items we needed. Um, from my oh, from my point of view, um, a set of filters will do the trick, but I need three of them. I was able to create in a 3x3 three three grid a EU power source, the in, uh, induction furnace, the uh, source and target for the material, so the um, no. Oh, it's going to load in, I hope. So, uh, in this case, it's a barrel, and I'm thinking another barrel. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, oh, not a cliff yet. Not a cliff yet. Whee. Ooh, so. Oh. Not so cobblestone. Ah, we definitely don't want to let that explode. <laughs> A fairly simple... This ends up being the place that makes the most sense to do this in. Is just doing it right underneath that barrel there, so... I am going to... Make a room here. I don't remember exactly how far down I needed it. Do I? Oh. Uh, 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 I apparently stuck my uh, other resources into that other barrel there. Basin on this side here. So my thoughts at this point in time are that it's easier to move my EU than it is my cobble. And now that I'm here, I'm starting to think that's insane. I can just pump the cobble back out. It, oh, oh, don't land on that. I can just pump the cobble back out, and that actually shouldn't be any issue using uh, the inner chest. So let me get out oops, uh, one of my inner chests. And I will just borrow this. So, for our little workroom, oops, filter's going to be annoying the place because we need to do it in this direction. Don't want to go there. I need this angle. Alright, should have a little bitty hole there, yep. And we'll use the ender chest here. Must remember to let Dracket be aware in the morning that this has changed over. So with a simple redstone pulse, that should fill the chest up. Let me set this back. 
and then quickly increase it significantly. So, there we go. That will now fill that chest. Let's head back to the house. I think all my interdimensional chests are over to that away. It would take sixteen chests just in a quick little amount of 16 chests in order to equal one extra dimensional chest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Now we need some pneumatic piping. So, what I am thinking here is that it's time build a new structure. Let's keep the ender chest out of the way for a moment. Is that I will need a bit of a work area that is attached to this work area. Alright, there's the source access to the lava pipes. So that's going to be my EU power. Let's just wipe this out a little bit here. Creeper could just come in here right now and so screw things up. We don't want things dropping in on us here. Alright, so closed off. Let me get my lap pack on. stairs came down right there. This should actually be not safe. Not safe enough. Derp. So there's a way to get into the work area from here. Let's return that there. Hello, way out. We'll just put that in here then. So we could have a potential energy source coming through here from the lava. All that would take is liquiducts going over to uh, thermal, uh, yeah, thermal generators, which I happen to have two of up there. I can move my MFSU down here, dumping 10 million EU. Maybe I should start draining that now. So I don't think I'm going to get the setup done. Yeah. Looking for that. Goodbye lava, goodbye lava. Sad face. Ten buckets of lava. Gone in the blink of an eye. Gadget Laptron. Oh, that will 
take a little bit. Meantime, let's see how our chest is doing. Still on a pretty good timer, so we got time here. So, uh, some of the things that we are going to need. is a hopper. Five things of iron, a stone gear, and a chest. I'm pretty sure we got most of that. Let's take a look at the wood areas. Remind me I put that in there. There's the chest. Yay! Alright, gears. <laughs> Got a wooden one. Stone, I do believe that was the ticket. And iron around the outside edge. My iron is down here in the chest. One, two, three, four, five. Snagging that back. Alright, so we now have our hopper. Let's move that down, that down. Ooh, I know where those go. Right there. Drums rolling. And a stick. Yay! Oh, two sticks. I spoke too soon. Alright, that one crystal should be full by now. Yep. Let's add in another there. Goodbye, lava. So hopefully the net result of this uh, little activity that we're doing is we're no longer going to be down here. Is our construction site will officially become retired. So I'm thinking I could put at least three so our three thermals around. Actually, I want to do four-ish. So if I have like the MFSU right there, I could do one, two, three, four. That would generate it pretty fast. And that one pipe would take care of those. However, now I got one, two, three. make this, you know, I gotta do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fashion here. Uh, oops, let's get to the right wrench. Or, I'm sorry, hammer. It looks like a wrench. Alright, so, I'm going to use placeholders as I usually do. Let's do one, two, three, four on this wall here. So, done. Do one, two, three, four. <laughs> Much better looking, don't you guys agree? So now we come out, we go down, we go over, we can go down, we can go up. Just to get things started, I happen to have two thermal generators right there. One Z, two Z. And now you know I always wanted to. Yep, guess that just breaks them. 
I want an open facing me so like the wall would kind of grow low, but eh, I can deal with this. That will leave there for that. Ew. Do I have to put it in the bottom? New. No. Sigh. I guess I just needed to tap the, uh... Not liking the tap a tap. Right. <laughs> and the first one did it, of course. There. And just to keep things simple. That was the opposite of simple. That was the opposite of simple. That was the, I hit the wrong pipe. <sighs> there, look at, that's cost me a little bit of magma there. Oh, <laughs> and that just drained all the magma into my thermal generators. Nope, nope, nope. On. On. And on. And on. Let's keep that thing going there. Another million stored. Another million to go. So we're going to be wasting only about 8 million or so. <laughs> no, 7 million. 7.4. Alright, so that takes care of one issue. And we're going to have a pretty... I picked up the inner chest. We're going to have a pretty full ender chest here shortly. So EU comes from there. We're good on that one. So we have the ender chest. It will be opening right here. Underneath it we will have a uh, switch thingy, a uh, filter. And underneath that, we will have the hopper we just made that I don't see in my inventory. <laughs> did I put it back in the crafting bench? Yes, I did. I do that from time to time. Alright, so. From under there into the hopper. What that means, though, is that I either need to move my roof up or my floor down. And. Whoa. Oh. Are they... That was just lava coming in. Just get the crap out of it. So, floor down, I think everyone agrees, is a bit easier at this point in time. Also, you know, just square up this room a little bit more. A little bit better appearance. So that is where the electric furnace is going to be going. So I will need a output Oops. from the MFSU to come down, around, and over. Hey, ooh, MFSU. I have 12 output. I'm pretty sure I need to go down to a medium voltage transformer. Let's uh, snag those. Get some more components in the right positions. I'm just going to kind of carnivorous. Do, do, do. Uh, that could have potentially been better. That also could have potentially been bad and likely was. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, we don't need the bat box. Where did you go from? Okay. So, bat box. Higher input from above. Lower inputs out. That's good. The other things that we just destroyed. I only see the MFE. I don't see the transformer. Induction furnace. 
That's what I do want. I wanted the transformer though, but it fell down. It's like I used my wrench. It should be here. No. There we go. Medium volt transformer. go. We do this. That will make the medium bolt go down there. MFE on the side. That should power the MFE. The MFE should power the induction furnace directly. MFE is 128 out, right? Yep. yep. Oh, ah, son of a... enough energy for losses operation. Well, I got a backpack on. You could take it from there first. Nope, nope, nope. Not getting me this time. 12,000. There we go. Okay, so that should actually fully power... thing I could just give it a quick little boost but technically we've taken all the energy we can out let's just go and give our gear here a quick recharge just kind of conserve any energy we can goes back on take that off uh, I have slowly been charging up other crystals just so I'd have a store. Uh, it's kind of kind of handy, and there's another medium volt transformer. I think I shall go put this back into place. Not that it will really have a place once I move things. So, uh. Actually, no, I just don't think that that's going to do what I wanted to do. A little medium volt transformer. Uh. Alright, there we go. Probably should use up a lot of this energy just blasting away the side of the cliff. You know what? I think I might just do that. Uh, I got 7 million. It would be kind of a waste to, to just get rid of all of that. And I don't feel like making any more Lapatron crystals or Lapatron crystals right now. And the Ender Storage. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to do some more uh, environment blasting. Uh, using up a lot of that energy. Uh, maybe I'll record that for the next episode, actually. But uh, what we're going to end up doing... Here, I'll be right back. I'll show you my little test setup so you can see what our goal is. Hello, guys. So this is just the quick little test setup. This is it actually still working. Um, let me ditch all of this... Uh, so yeah, this is just a test world. I'll just give you the grand tour. Uh, a lot of ultimate hybrid solar panels. In the center, an interdimensional energy storage unit. Over here, I had another interdimensional. It's slowly charging this thing. Uh, it's also what charged an AESU over here. You can see this one's quickly draining, though. So what we have here is a very nice setup. One, two, three, nine, twenty-seven is it? C O B B L E. Let's just get some cobble out here. And 
and the AI could probably do this a lot faster for me. What the hell? Okay, so this is the little 3x3 three three setup. Uh, it does not include the power source because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get an AESU. So that wasn't going to happen. And the AESU actually powers it down below to keep the wiring out of the general area. But a, a side little snug here, as you can see, would work just well. But in this case, I have a cobblestone um, barrel. I have a filter. And then I have a hopper. The timer up here is a 20 second timer so every 20 seconds it will dump a stack into the hopper that seems to keep up with things pretty well in the furnace it's working at hundred percent oh why is it only got the one we'll give it a little hand although that's not really a little hand so um, it's working at hundred percent so it will constantly build up the hopper should be able to it just do another tick yep the hopper should actually be able to keep up with this thing um, to get it initially started, what I'm likely to do... You know, oh, I can't hit it. Uh, is, you know, just put this... Oop, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's put this down at 15 seconds. Just fill this sucker up a little bit more. Because I want to keep both of the... Uh, both sides going. That's when the induction furnace is at its most effective. The other timer is a lot longer, but it will work to just pull out the two stacks. Uh, I think it gets to 54 is where I have the timing currently. There we go. And they go up into the through the pneumatic tubes, two more filters again, and into the top of the barrel, which is slowly collecting stone. This I want to say is 35 seconds. Yep. And it's just a little redstone wire touching the faces of the filters right there. So they both turn on, one grabs the left, one grabs the right. I don't really care which one does which, as long as it just happens. So there we go, a little s quicker timer so I can just tweak the settings a little bit. So this is basically though what we're going to create in that area. I just need to get the materials together and be in a position where I'm not going to waste so much energy. Uh, but that's not likely to happen this evening, uh, it's quarter to 2 a.m., got work in the morning, so... Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with the potential of what's going to happen, and I am really excited to actually get a the, the an, an island building. Uh, that is a pretty huge area. We're going to need quite a bit of the um, Minecraft jewels as well as the smooth stone to get that done. So uh, quite a big project, but it is fun. It is fun to see it coming together. You know, have the area shaped out. Um, after I go through with the mining laser and just thin down the edges a bit and make them slope, I am, like, that's probably going to be a terraforming project forever. I'll put in some waterfalls, I'll put in some trees, maybe even a nice uh, tendril path that goes down, just have to kind of hand build that, or some arcing bridges or something like that, you know? Work on something a little bit cool and just make the environment my own. Uh, I certainly have a large enough area to do so. So uh, I'm going to leave you guys here, and I will... Uh, be reading comments and stuff like that if you guys have any further suggestions on how to do this but I, I do think this is a, a pretty good setup it's not too taxing on the system it's based on two timers that are not running too terribly fast the only thing that worries me is look how fast this EU is dropping yowzers that is very fast <laughs> so we can figure that one out uh, but that's why I might be heading in the third thermal gen. Is uh, This might just have to be something that I have to run while I'm actually paying attention to it. So an overall on-off switch would be fairly handy. Yeah. Bloop -doo. Not sure if that would work. But of course it won't. Um, just on the off chance, pretty sure, <laughs> I can then put redstone over this.
caps lock. So there, your basic off pattern. Should be able to turn this off at any point in time. The hopper will slowly drain out. It'll finish off the things there. So when my system is completely blanched out of EU, it won't be the end of the world. Before I forget, let me uh, do three, four, five. Set that timer back up in case I use it for reference. Turning it on. There you go, the timers. So there, complete with an on-off switch. Going to actually just take a little picture of that again. Alrighty, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, next episode, hopefully we're back to the filler. Maybe we're setting this up. Maybe we're doing a little demolition. It could be all of those things at the same time with how my uh, focus has been as of late. So we'll see how it goes. Talk to you later.